So here's my review of the University of Chicago booth MBA experience. So I'll, I'll just cut the introduction. I don't. I won't get into it. I'll just go straight to it. So the most thing, the thing I learned the most in that education is not what was taught in class. Um, the thing I, I experienced most deeply was observing my classmates. People come to MBA education with different goals, different experiences. S majority of people want a short thing. They invest, especially with a premium uh, education like the Booth, Columbia, Harvard, you're investing at $200,000. That was my cost. Um, plus two years of your life, two very disruptive years of your life. Because despite the fact that I went to an executive MBA, essentially it was full time because mentally you are there. You, if you're there, you cannot be somewhere else. Um, you cannot constantly switch, 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 switch. And the University Bulls education was so intense, intense enough where it's not well the education where you can just party and drink your way through it. Uh, there has been a few people who are able to do that, but I think the IQ at their they're outliers. Um, majority of people in the program are very smart, but they're not outliers. Uh, they are simply hardworking, smart people. So you go into the, this, you're hard, hardworking. You had to put your family life, you had to put your work life kind of on hold. Don't expect any great, uh, if you can maintain it, you're already doing very well, meaning your family, your, your work life. And uh, most people want to invest in this money for a simple fact that they want to move up, right? Uh, it's very simple. They want to move up. Why, why else would you invest in this? There are two ways, to, uh, well, there's more than two ways, but there, there are two main ways of moving up. One is you get this, so you tick the box, so you can move up in the management system. Uh, for you to become a general manager, uh, to, for you to manage more than 10, 20, 30 people, you need to sort of have this fundamental systematic understanding of how business work, not only in your specific function, but also in a cross function. Uh, so you need this in, 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 in acquiring that. The other way is that you're not happy with what you're doing. You're not happy because Either you're not making money, you're not progressing, or simply because you just don't like what you're doing. And MBA is the gateway for you to kind of switch. Now, if you're doing this, if you're looking to switch, executive MBA is not the one for you. You should be at 25 to 20 to 30, and you should be in the full-time program. Do not come to executive MBA and want to switch. It's impossible, nearly impossible to switch. Um, but if you're on the former track of growing with your company within your company and growing within your career path, then yes, executive MBA is a good, good uh, option for you. Now let's let's talk about more more deeply about it. I actually was a ladder. <laughs> I was looking to explore. I I started in my twenties. I was entrepreneurial. In my early to mid thirties, I went to corporate, and let's be honest, I wasn't cut out to be corporate uh, in the sense that um, I had my own ideas, <laughs> and I'm willing to fight for my own ideas. So, in corporate, what I find was that you, when I went into corporate, I was very hot blooded. I was very enthusiastic. I wanted to do things like I did in my entrepreneurial uh, years. However, what I found was that in corporate, it's a political organization. The resources are limited, and many departments, many people with different sphere of influence, power structure, are vying for it. So you, as a as, as a, an individual manager, you cannot simply expect to do things the way you want to do it. You have to collaborate, negotiate. And compromise, which significantly affects the speed and the way you implement things. Um, I had to learn a whole different mindset, how to work in corporate to get things done. Uh, that took about a year, it literally took about a year, a year and a half to understand this game. Um, ultimately, I feel that deep down in my soul, I'm not the corporate guy. Even though I learned the skills, uh, I don't enjoy it. And that, so I'm the guy who switched. 
And I have to say it's utterly failure for me to switch. Uh, however, what I gained from this was completely unexpected. In the two years, I, I was I was privileged sitting next to some very much more successful, much more accomplished people than I I I, I am. And surprisingly, I found that they are just as insecure, unsure about themselves and where they're going as I was, if not more so. And uh, I think I learned a lot more from them than from the classes. How to discount cash flows, how to calculate present values, uh, how to think strategically, all these uh, ephemeral things. Because in class, my ultimate conclusion is, is everything we learned was based on assumptions. If your assumptions wrong, it doesn't matter how good your model is, it doesn't work. Your assumptions are wrong. And to be honest with you, we're not gods. We're humans. And uh, we have only limited access to valuable information that ultimately turn out, determines the outcome of certain things. So, well, MBA taught me a lot of interesting, intellectually challenging, curious models. Without the right input of information into those models, so all models will not produce ideal results. Um, and that's, that's the limitation of MBA education. I'm not telling you that MBA education is useless. I'm telling you the limitation of it. Limitations <coughs> of it. But what was limitless? was observing my classmates, and they come, came from all walks of life, from uh, doctors looking to become, uh, to rise into uh, managerial positions within the hospital, to uh, accountants looking to become a control, financial controllers, to PE guys who want to network with other PE or financiers who are looking to uh, network with other financiers. And, um, I was really, again, going back to I was really shocked to find how unsure, insecure, and wavering they are about. And because of that, they act, behave certain ways because they believe that those are the way to obtain what they wanted, what they needed in life. And from that conclusion, from those observations, I made the conclusion that I need to go back to my entrepreneurial roots. And that was the most, that in fact is the most valuable thing that I obtained is that I am no better no worse than anybody else who outwardly uh, appear to be better and I found my true path I no longer have doubts of what I need or want to do because I see the end result of those other people and what's waiting for me if I follow the path that I follow so is booth education good? Yes. It is absolutely in relative comparison to all the other MBAs and the MBA people that I met. Booth is one of the most knowledgeable, factual, and uh, intellectual of them all. Is it worth it? It depends. It depends on what you got out of it. I have to say that Although I got the, not the thing I thought I would get out of it, which is a great job, 150, 160K salary, and a prestigious position, it was worth it. Because what I got out of, of it was a better understanding of myself and an assurance about myself and my place in this world. Um, but it may be not for everybody. It's certainly, uh, it's just like that funny joke in the finance industry, right? Results vary with various clients. Um, you, it's a risk. And if you had a point, you had to listen to your heart, not your brain. If your brain, your brain play tricks. And they, it's, one day it thinks one way, one day it thinks another, you're constantly facilitating. But your heart knows whether it's something you need. And if it's something you feel that you need, then do it. Because the money, it's a significant amount of money. For me, it's two hundred thousand um, dollars. But you'll make it. If you don't make it, you default on it. <laughs> One or the other, it'll be paid. Um, and we can't take that money with me with us when we die. But it's what we acquire in the process. Um, and the MBA is not the only solution. There are other things you can do to acquire the same things. Uh, if you just care about the knowledge. 
the academic knowledge. You don't need to spend this money to go to booths. You can just take an online course. They teach you the exact same thing. I'm telling you, they're teaching you the exact same thing. You learn about statistic models. You le learn about pricing, financial pricing, of uh, present value discounting, and so all this stuff. You know, learn about management theory. You learn about uh, operation, uh, how to calculate operational efficiency. All this stuff. It's all open knowledge. Go to one that you pay a fraction, a hundredth of what I pay, to get the same amount of knowledge. If you really want it free, you can go to the local library. However, local library is not structured, whereas an online course and an MBA program, they structure the knowledge so you know when and how to get those things in succession, in a systematic way. Um, but if you look, you're seeking answers. You're seeking answers. MBA will not give you the answer you want, but if you keep your mind and your eyes open, you actually find some very answers at the most unexpected places. And I think that that is the value of my Chicago Bulls MBA. Um, and people are going to ask me too, of course. Oh, the network. Let me tell you something about the network. The network is no different outside of MBA as is inside of MBA. If you're somebody important, you're somebody who has something to offer, or perceived to be someone who has something to offer, keyword perception, then you will build a network. If you don't, you're not perceived as someone who's valuable or have something to value to the other person, then it's very hard for you to build a network. Because it's just, yeah, you can go out and drink all day long, you can bullshit, all this stuff. But at the end of the day, we're not kids anymore. We're grown adults. We make relationship decisions based on cause and benefit. Let's be honest with each other about this. Um, and if you don't have any, you're not offering any benefit, they're not going to certainly invest in the cost. Uh, other people are not going to invest in the cost in you. So the whole network thing is complete sham in the sense that you will get a network automatically. You only get a network if you are, have something valuable. Let's say you work for a foreign wealth fund. Oh, yeah, everyone will want to talk to you. and Someone will even want to kiss your ass. If you are just a mid-level manager who's going to make move up, not probably. You'll make friends for sure. Friends, friendships are real. Um, will you? Will the MBA expand your network? You'll have people who you have access to for questions. Uh, what they answer you is a different question uh, matter. But at least you will have some people that you can ask questions about. That's it. That's the network. All right, hope that helps. Um, contact me, send a reply. If you, uh, so, you know, leave a comment, not a reply. Leave a comment if you have questions. Uh, more, more questions I didn't answer. Okay, good luck.